Way in the morning, Shay Four Five. Have the, you know, here at SiriusXM, we got a ton of channels. It's probably the one of the best investments you want to make right now. You can listen to SiriusXM for free, right? Yep, you can go to SiriusXM.com/slash free trial. You have a free trial from now until June fourth. Okay, and then also on Pandora now, we're offering um our our um, podcast, podcast. Mm-hmm. yeah, our Sway in the Morning podcast. You can hear that for free and. It's all for free. And, you know, I talked to some of the higher ups. I was like, if we do this podcast thing, I want all the subscribers, all of those who follow Sirius XM and all of those who follow Pandora to be able to receive it for free. Don't charge them for this. Let them get a taste of them. Let them look, grow to like it. Make it accessible to them. And they agreed to do it because of our show. Yeah, How about right. that? <laughs> Over 150 shows here at Sirius XM. We pushed it, man. We pushed it, man. And I, I just wanted them to know that we got some iconic personalities that work under this umbrella one of them works for first wave here at sirius xm goes by the name of larry the duck and he's celebrating his 40th anniversary welcome him to the show 40 excellent that's amazing june 1 1979 it's yeah. when you first came on air yeah, i was a young kid wow yeah. where what station was it lir fm wlr and what, what city is that in new york it was 92.7 fm 92.7 yeah. what was radio like then compared to the, <laughs> this to you know terrestrial compared to satellite <laughs> well lir stood for low income radio that's the first thing okay yeah. we okay. didn't get paid much at all <laughs> okay it's... by the way i'm so honored to be with you man sway oh, no, calloway oh, man, in fact you. i think the perfect morning show is eight to noon oh <laughs> not six a.m to ten a.m sleep later come on man <laughs> but, oh, but in terms of time you're absolutely right <laughs> and that was one of the things that I made sure I got put in. If I come down, come and do. I've done did radio in the Bay. I did morning yeah. drive. I uh, did a show called Swing the Breakfast Club. Oh, cool. In 1996 in the Bay. Oh, cool. And I had to be on air at 5:30 a.m. And I said, if I come around and do it this time, I'm gonna make it where it's you know convenient for Heather B. This is all about Heather B. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. hey, <laughs> this is about the West Coast, believe it or not. Yeah, yeah. This is about the oh, Bay please. Area. Yeah, at 12 o'clock noon. It's only 9 a.m. Right, so it's 5 a.m. Yeah. yeah. It's a balance. So it's the perfect morning show for LA. Perfect. What was your biggest moment early on? What was your first milestone moment on radio? You know, I interviewed a lot of people, Sway, but uh, Jim Henson. Jim I inter- Henson. Yeah, wow. when when the movie Labyrinth came out with uh, David Bowie. Uh-huh. So he lived in Westchester and he had six kids and Heather was his youngest uh-huh. and she convinced him to go on the air with me for 90 minutes wow. and he did kermit cookie monster wow. animal he did i have it on cassette still to this day wow cassette what's that <laughs> no <I'm just> <laughs> <laughs> but people weren't video you didn't have yeah. a camcorder or nothing no. back then right no, or no. a smartphone right yeah um uh, what did you play commercials from were they from eight tracks <laughs> were they digitized? Were they from... The uh, carts. The, the remember carts. the carts? Yeah, the it was a single cart? track. You just stick into the machine and just hit the button. Exactly. It was analog. Did you... Because <laughs> what we used to have to do in radio is when we recorded phone calls, we used to have to record it to a quarter-inch tape. Right. And then in between songs, go back slice. to that tape and slice it and yeah. edit the call so it could fit perfectly. One of the things I would do is take off the head and make it feel like... The caller was right there, live on air with the tape. So I'll say, caller, how you doing? Push the button. Hey, what up, Sway? <laughs> Did you set to do that, too? Yeah, because remember you had the, the razor blade, and you yeah. had to cut it diagonally on the wow. two-track. Remember that? And you had to turn that shit around yeah. in, like, less than three minutes? And the vinyl, man. You know, you get Q-Burn. Remember uh-huh. the Q-Burn you on, the, the vinyl? Q-burn on the vinyl? Oh, yeah. Wow, man. It's used to spin at the Underground, the Ritz, the Malibu, the Limelight, Paris, New York, 007. So you were spinning at the limelight? Yeah. How many drugs were you doing at that time, man? Come on, man. I know you It was slowing. I well, I had to stay sane. I mean, I, I had yeah. to stay sane. Yeah, you had to stay sane, right? Yeah. But but it was you know what? It was a great time. It was like doing A&R in radio. I was a uh-huh. music director. We were following MTV. Uh-huh. You know, we were breaking stuff left and right. I remember uh-huh. I got a we had to deal with a record store in London. We'd get imports every Thursday. It was Heathrow to JFK. Uh-huh. And as a music director, I go through a Thursday night and then we had this white label import, not signed by anybody. It said M A R R S. It was pump up the volume. Pump up the volume. And we broke it and played the shit out of it. We pump had a dr- up the volume. Pump it up. That. Let's pump up the jam. Oh, pump, that's up, pump the jam. up the jam. That's okay. Pump the jam. Yo, what up, bro? Yes. We got a Casanova. Yes. Just a- <laughs> what up, baby? What up, baby? Boom, 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 boom. He just shot up the room and left. <laughs> pump up the volume. Oh, pump up the volume. Pump, pump up, up the volume. Pump that bass. Oh, that's right there. Yeah. Is that it? Yeah, pump up the volume. Dude's on it. <laughs> That's DJ Wonder. <laughs> I said, dude's on it. So you broke this record. Yes. Broke this record. Yo, Larry the Duck, wow. wow. 
Wow. Okay. Let me ask you nowadays. So you obviously with satellite. What made you do the transition? What do you, and how do you feel about it? This. You know, so 16 years I've been on First Wave this past Monday. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, so it was the early days, and it was before the merger, and, Uh um, you know, it was different then. I was on Channel 44, right, and they had, on XM, they had Fred, which was on 22, and they just kind of merged it all together Uh on 33, and I just, you know, I was just skinny Irish Catholic kid from Brooklyn (laughs) that just made it to the national airwaves. You know, Uh I was lucky. And who was your heroes at that time? Like radio heroes, Thurn was Thurn. Yeah, I mean Howard was good. You know Opie. You know uh-huh. Opie did Long Island Radio too. Uh-huh. You know um, Jim Kerr. I mean uh-huh. he's such a great guy. He just gave us a lot of credit in Billboard. Yeah. You know with PLJ going off the air today. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And he gave a lot of credit to LIR. You know, just we were. It was like as Tom Petty used to say, "Radio without limits." Right. We were right. just having fun. We didn't care about ratings, you know. Uh-huh. We tell people to show up at car dealerships; they showed up. Right. Yeah. That's what they wanted—an active, loyal listenership. Okay. And and now, um, you, you have we have no limitations here at Sirius <laughs> yeah, XM. That's tell. why I'm here. <laughs> you know, right? Can you tell? Oh yeah. We just, said, we just shook hands. I said, "Jump on the air." You couldn't just do that. Back no. In, but know. what I do on First Wave is I mention you. Okay. You're on 45, Thank and like, you. Yeah, and, the, and sometimes you're in other cities, and mm-hmm. I plug it his way. But what I say is, you know, during a set of music, I'll say, "Man, I just ran." And to sway in the hallway. I want to be Sway Calloway, man. He's the best. Oh shit, I, man. Yeah. Oh man, yeah. thank you, Larry the Duck, man. I want to be <laughs> want to be Larry the Duck. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, it's a curse. My real name's Larry Dunn. Oh. Like Earth, Wind, and Fire is Larry Dunn. Oh, uh-huh. really? Yeah. So it was modeled after Larry the Duck Dunn, Donald the Duck Dunn from the Blues Brothers. Okay. Yeah. Booker T and the MGs. Uh huh. That, that's Earth, Wind, and Fire, man. You got a favorite Earth, Wind, and Fire song? Oh yeah. Give me, uh, give me your top three. Oh my God. Bless the children. What is it? Uh-huh. Bless, it talks about the teachers. Bless the children. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I gotta fly. I'm gonna fly. Oh man, I love Earth, Wind, and Fire. I love okay. the horn section. Okay, you didn't go with the, the big ones like Fantasy. Let's nothing. Groove, man. Let's Groove. Oh, let's oh. Groove. Okay. They played that at my wedding. They played that at your wedding? Yeah, my, my, yeah, my family said we gotta play Let's Groove. It was the second song after the wedding song. <laughs> oh, damn. Okay, well, listen, man, I wanna say congratulations. Thank you, sir. Woo! Happy Thank you, anniversary. Sir. Thank you. And if people wanna listen to you, tell them how they can hear you, man. Monday through Friday, 5 a.m. Five a.m. to 9 a.m. Eastern on Channel 33. There First it is. Wave. Congratulations, Larry. Thank you. Wait, you're right. the man. No, you're the man, bro. No, you're the man. Yeah, you're the man, bro. I gotta be the man if you're the man. Okay, because you're the man. No, you're the man. Okay, we're the men. Sway Calloway, All 45. Right. Larry the Duck, ladies and gentlemen.